Hi, my name is Daniel McInnes and I'm from Ottawa, Canada. For my project, I did Picture This, a novel approach to limb donor identification and prosthetic design. Basically what that means is I built a total of two 3D scanners, one that I could use to perfect my results on a small scale, and the other that I could use actually for the project for amputees. Really, my, my passion stemmed from trying to connect engineering and science to a field in medicine that really pulls together um, mechanical, electrical, and computer to really help make a difference in the world. And one of the things that I realized is prosthetics today are so expensive, but it's not not really the cost that's really setting people back. It's the fact that as a child you need your prosthetic replaced every six months to a year and as an adult every two to three years. So I really set out to design a, a method to design prosthetics faster, design them cheaper and help ensure that even the cheap prosthetics that are being made in developing countries or for those who can't afford them are being made with the utmost and top quality possible by using custom uh, 3D design. So what I'm able to do is if an amputee is missing their right arm, I can actually 3D scan their left arm with the scanner that I built and then mirror that over to see what their right arm would need to look like and then I can 3D print all the components to make that prosthetic. Right now there's really two types of prosthetics. There's the expensive custom prosthetics and then the cheap 3D printed prosthetics. What I've done is I've been able to pull together both fields to give people the best quality while keeping it at a very low price. Okay, and why you came out with this idea? So I was, I was really inspired by what's going on in the biomedical field and how they actually combat um, different diseases and amputation by using prosthetics or limb transplants. And I thought there's got to be something that I can do to make that more accessible to people. We have about 37 million amputees worldwide and many of them go without a prosthetic and without a solution to their problems. So that's, that's really why I wanted to step into this field and use my love for engineering to help um, fight that.